Hi, this is Matt Rhodes and I'm joined by Paul Phillips, Matlock Town's manager. Uh, Paul, uh, first defeat of uh, pre-season, 3-1 uh, defeat to the Spyrites. Uh, what did you make of the team's performance as a whole tonight? I thought it was okay. Um, I thought we upped and puffed. It's probably our worst performance, but I thought it was against the best team we have we have faced. We've got some good, good players um, assembling a good squad. They asked us a lot of questions. I thought we lost the, lost, lost the game realistically in, in the midfield. I thought Alex Wells missing and we had a lot of players that are very similar in the midfield that weren't brave enough on the ball. Um, I just thought, I just thought, all in all, we came up against a very good team who who did did the right things in the right areas and, and, had, and had the firepower up front. No disrespect when you're bringing big Tom Denton on after 60, 65 minutes, you know you you're facing a, a club and a team with a lot of firepower. And I think we're still obviously Ross Hanna was out tonight, Wales out tonight, and I'm not making it. She's just the best team one at night, but I just think we're trying to find that form in the top half of the pitch that's going to suit us and is going to win us games that maybe we need to put our finger on sooner rather than later. OK, uh, yeah, Wells and Hannah that you mentioned there before uh, not involved tonight, so what was the reason behind that? Ross was here, but he, he just, he, he had a, he's had a tightening of the calf and the pitch has been very hard, he's sort of, we didn't want to take a, a chance with it. Uh, Alex Wiles is in isolation because of uh, one of his family members has, has had Covid, so he's been pinged, so unfortunately he's not going to be available till uh, weekend, uh, so that's, that's a blow. But I think these things are going to happen throughout the season, so we've got to just take it on board uh, and get on with it. But like I say, going back to it, I just think we, we missed his little bit of extra extra magic in that midfield where he gets on the balls and, and sort of links links to play up. I thought, even though the lads worked tremendously hard as a, as a midfield unit, I just think we sort of didn't have the the tools to to cause them the problems that we could normally cause if we had the. Alex or another lad in there. Uh, yeah, Chesterfield obviously you've made a new, quite a few new signings recently and a few trialists. But uh, did you, did they, their approach to the game was it how you expected it to be? Yeah, of course. Listen, I think the, you look at they've got. I think they've been an England international keeper. They've got in there going right from the back. I thought the lad at the back, the five was was outstanding. Won every header. Um, and again, without looking, without looking beyond, I think they'll be top half of that league and, and be go on to probably win the league. But I, I hope they do. It's a, it's a great club, and I thank him for thank James and, and Chesterfield for bringing him down here. It was, a, it was a great crowd, and again for, for Ernie Moss, and I think it was a great tribute to a to a great player. So I thank them like we did thank Mansfield. Um, but it's about us. Listen, that's enough about them. It's about us, and I just think that on the day we looked a bit leggy. We had a we had a session. Monday evening, which we put them through, and it, it, it was a hot one. And again, that putting excuses in the way, but a few lads did look leggy after after that. So we'll put this to bed. We'll, we'll tick the boxes and make sure that we cross the ones that we didn't do right. And then we'll we'll get back in Saturday and work on it, whether it be having an old game, which obviously the Newcastle games now off, or we're getting them training. Then we'll work on the right things that we need to to push on and. Like I say, I always say you learn more from a defeat than you ever do from from seven or eight wins. So we've learned a lot tonight, and, and, and lads will be coming and going from the club in in, in a way of if, again you touch on Craig Carney. We took Craig Carney off here because we're we're a massive massive on set pieces and making sure we do our jobs on set pieces. And their third goal, it just it was inexcusable, inexcusable. We don't. We don't put a corner in like that under the bar. The keeper punches it, and then ten seconds later it's going in our net. We, we work on these things, and if they can't do that, then they're at the wrong place. So we'll have to find somewhere else to apply the trade. But again, Craig's a good player. Other people have come in, and again, not really put names on the shirts yet. So maybe we lose patience in pre-season, or we give them the chance to start the season. But as you've seen, we've signed Coops. You look at our, our squad, squad depth when we've got everyone back. We've got a, a very good squad, so people need to start playing to the to the potential and not keep waiting for them to, to come to the party. Uh, just on the positive though, as well, I thought Reese Kendall played really, really well tonight. As he has done, uh, I think, in every pre-season game that I've seen so far. Um, just what have you made about his progression since he's joined the club? Because for, for me, he does seem to have come on leaps and bounds since he's joined. I think he's been brilliant. Like I say, when he first come in. Obviously, we, we, we paid a little bit of money for Reece, so probably a little bit of pressure on the lad. Um, 
it took me a while to find his feet because he's probably strolled it in the league below and the league below that because he's had quite an upturn in, in standard football he was playing. But I think he's been brilliant. I think Tom Denton didn't come on tonight. He won most headers against him. and um, it's one that when no, exactly. Six. Yeah, <laughs> so, and the rest. He's about seven foot two, isn't he? No, it's. I, I think he's been brilliant. Listen, I don't want just single Reese out. I thought the other two. I thought Sam, I thought Quartz defended really well, and I felt sorry for him in stages because they didn't have the people in front of him who would take the ball off and, and sort of dictate play. And that's what the sole problem we've got to solve. But Reese, listen, we knew what Reese was getting with Reese. I watched Reese many a times, and I, I knew what kind of player he was getting. And I think you'll see this season him really coming of age. OK, well, commiserations tonight, Paul, but uh, good luck for the rest of the pre -season. And can I just schedule. say, obviously, to the Moss family, everyone obviously in that dressing room paid his respects and um, I think it was a, 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 a good tribute and sort of epitomises the, the man that he was. Yeah, absolutely. Well said, Paul. Cheers, thank you.